Okay, I got a random question. I, I was like really thought about this. Curi- genuinely curious right. if you've ever apologized for a joke. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I do it to an, the individual that I hurt. If I was, if, listen, if I'm in a bad mood, okay, now some asshole's going to cut that right there. See, comedian should apologize because that's everybody's like Fox <laughs> yeah. News and CNN now, like uh, <laughs> staring at it. <laughs> <laughs> They'll cut out all this part. No, if I'm in like a bad mood and like. Or if I did, if I told a joke about something that somebody had a personal effect to, and I and I made him sad or made him cry, you know, yeah. there's that comic thing. Well, fuck you, lady. You shouldn't have come out. Like I don't take it to that level. It's just like, yeah, you're right. You know, I didn't, I didn't think of that. I didn't know you were gonna be here tonight. What are the fucking odds you were at that thing that I was making fun of? You know what I mean? But that can happen. But what I think is, I I, I refuse to apologize to anybody that is upset. That they that they heard a joke at a show they weren't at, you know. When, <laughs> especially if somebody yeah. film. Okay, if it's in my special, that's different. I decided to like put it out or whatever. Um, but like, you know, if it's one of those things where someone in the crowd films you and then they put it up, it's like get mad at them and you, because you you saw the subject and you clicked on it. So I mean, that's that's <laughs> yeah, you had interested. all of these other fucking things. They have like, they they have videos of just dogs snoring that you could watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and feel good about your day but yeah. you went out of your way to fucking watch this thing it's on you well the fact that it's shown up in their algorithm means that they're fucking already in the the energy field of all those videos yeah. and that's something i love to do blaming the victim i like <laughs> <laughs> well what were you watching if you saw it <laughs> yeah yeah how did it pop yeah. up on your no feed? i i i am uh i'm a big believer in if you are wrong and you feel you're wrong you apologize but i'm not a believer in the mob mentality and I'm now going to apologize just because it's not worth it because then all I do is give that strength that that's okay to do that and then some other comic's going to have to deal with it so um, Mm -hmm. uh, yeah so like yeah if you come up to me after a fucking show I mean I'll listen to you and I'll be like and if I agree with what you're saying I'll be yeah all right okay I fucked up. I'm sorry. I, yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't a personal thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you went through that or whatever. And I found you can like actually they'll be cool with you in the you know people like anybody like us we want to be heard. So, but as far as that that you know that professional being offended, so you can move whatever cause because mm. you feel like you can fix society you know with your <laughs> ideas. I mean I, I I don't I don't get into that. <laughs> America. If you thought Jackass Forever was crazy, oh boy, do I have a show for you. It's a multimedia comedy show called The Bucket List Tour. And the stuff I filmed for this show is way too hot for Jackass. Like the general anesthesia bike ride, the vasectomy Olympics, and skyjacking. The footage is so intense, we have full grown men passing out at almost every city this bus goes to. So if you think you can handle it, get your tickets right now at stevo.com. Yeah.